Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica and for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Angelus. Please kneel. Please kneel. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For for to beseech you, O Lord, the grace, grace into our hearts, that, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, Christ your Son, was, was made known by the message of an angel, May, May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Let us now pray, Doracho Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died, give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all, and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessity but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, help of the sea. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. Please sit down.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, God is challenging us again to become a living witness of Christ. As we continue our journey, let us be a living witness to others, especially as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We ask for her guidance and protection. In a special way, we include our personal intentions and for those who ask for our prayers. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that at the message of an angel, your word should take flesh in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Grant that we who pray to you and believe her to be truly the Mother of God may be helped by her interceding before you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Sirach. In those days, like a fire, there appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were as a flaming furnace. Their staff of bread he shattered. In his zeal, he raised them to strays. By the Lord's word, he shut up the heavens and three times brought down fire. How awesome are you, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds, whose glory is equal to yours. You were taken aloft in a whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with fiery horses. You were destined, it is written, in time to come, to put an end to wrath before the day of the Lord, to turn back the hearts of fathers toward their sons, and to establish the tribes of Jacob. Blessed is he who shall have seen and who falls asleep in your friendship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth. Rouse your power. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. 
They curve this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man, whom you yourselves made is strong. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. May your help be with the men of your right hand, with the Son of Man, whom you yourselves made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As they were coming down from the mountain, the disciples asked Jesus, Why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? He said in reply, Elijah will indeed come and restore all things. But I tell you that Elijah has already come. And they did not recognize him, but did, not, but did to him whatever they pleased. So also with the Son of Man suffer at their hands. Then the, then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them of John the Baptist. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Tayo pong mga Pinoy, mahilig po tayo sa fanatics. Ang dami po nating iniidolo. At pag iniidolo natin sila, hindi po natin sila makakalimutan. May mga fanatics dito na kahit patay na si Dolphy o si Fernando po, pag napapanood nila o naririnig nila yung, yung, yung pangalan nila, parang na-excite sila. O yung popular ngayon, si Coco Martin, ang probinsyano. O yung sinasabi natin si Vice Ganda. Pag itong mga personalities na to, once na narinig natin sa o nakita natin sa TV, we are enjoying watching them. Sila po yung hindi natin nakakalimutan. And this is likewise applied to our gospel for today. In, even in the gospel, meron pong mga personalities whom hindi natin nakakalimutan. Or for example, yung mga hudyo. They will never forget the image of Elijah. Because he is famous for them. At na-mention niya sa ating gospel for today. In our gospel, we can see the image of the three prophets. Makikita natin yung imahen ng tatlong great prophets. The Elijah, si Elijah, si John the Baptist, and at the same time, si Jesus Christ. These three knew that they were sent by God to speak about God, to stand and talk about the truth of God. Ito po yung rason kung bakit nandito sila sa ating mundo. They were called by God to become His instrument to the people. At alam po nila kung ano ang kaakibat ng kanilang pagiging isang profeta. They are not afraid what will happen to them because 
they speak the truth. But the people refused to listen to their message. They made fun of them. Pinagtatawanan lang sila. And, wo- and worse, they don't even mind them. Kung isipin natin, ano yung binibigay nila? It is the message of God. The message of salvation. The message of love. At ano yung price na na-attain nila in doing their mission? It is death. At kung isipin po natin, ang pagiging isang propeta ay nakakaranas ng matinding kahirapan at sakripisyo para lang sa kagustuhan ng Diyos. This might be the lesson we can get from our gospel for today. As followers of Jesus, those who believe in Jesus, we too experience a great sacrifice because of Him and our commitment to Him. Siguro ito yung rason. Kasi we are following Jesus kasi gusto nating i-commit yung sarili natin sa Kanya. Ang tanong po, mahirap magpakaprofeta ngayon. Especially when we are speaking about God. When we are speaking about the truth. Mahirap magsabi ng totoo o yung katotohanan. Kasi pwedeng magbago kung gugustuhin natin. Alam naman po natin kung ano ang tama. Binabaliktad yung tama, ginagawang mali. At yung mali ay tinatama. Reali- realidad po yan sa atin. Kaya nga po nire-remind tayo ng Diyos. Kung magiging isang propeta ka today, are you willing to accept rejection? Are you willing to accept sacrifices, difficulties in your life? Sino ba yung mga profeta today? Sino ba yung mga prophets in our present day? Sila po yung itinatayo ang katotohanan. Sila po yung may paninindigan. Sila po yung may pagmamahal sa kapwa. Lahat po ito ginawa ng mga profeta. And these things done by Jesus Christ during His ministry. He, is, he speaks the truth. He shared the love of God. And especially, He, become, he became the living witnesses, witness to God, to the people. Kaya ang challenge po, ano ang ating kayang gawin? Ngayon, kaya ba natin maging isang profeta na willing nating ibigay ang ating sarili para sa katotohanan? As we prepare ourselves, my dear brothers and sisters, for the coming of the Savior, let us try to continue and stay close to Jesus Christ. At this time of the year, we pray for this generosity so that we can give to others what God has given us. Elijah, John the Baptist, and even Jesus Christ became a true witnesses of God. May God continue to bless us and guide us always. Amen. Please stand. God sent Elijah and John the Baptist to remind the people of their need to change their way of life. In prayer, let us ask God the Father to help us attain genuine conversion. In every petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer.
that the Holy Father and the bishops of the church may inspire people to trust in God amidst life's difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are struggling in their faith may experience and recognize God working in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents and teachers may pass on the faith to the young people of our time by their witness and examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may share in the hope and joy of the Advent season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may enjoy their eternal reward in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, during this Advent, help us make straight our path so that we may be prepared for the coming of Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, these offerings, by and by your, po your power change them into the sacrament of salvation, in which fulfilling the sacrifices of the fathers, I offer the true Lamb, Jesus Christ, your Son, born of the Virgin Mary in a way beyond all telling, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as they acclaim.
Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, he be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all you have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please this time. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us now pray the act of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Wash me, 
Please stand. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord our God, always show forth your mercy in us, that we who commemorate in faith the mother of your son may be saved by his incarnation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us offer a song to our dear mother. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulce Do, Estes Nostra Salve. Adeclamamus, Ex Soles Filieve, Adde Suspiramus, Jeventes et mentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Eia ergo, advocata nostra, ilos tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis, pos hoc exilium, ostende, o plenes, o Pray for us, a holy mother of God, that may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, by the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, you prepared the body and soul of Mary, glorious Virgin and Mother, 
to become the worthy dwelling place of thy Son. Grant that by a gracious intercession, in whose commemoration we rejoice, we may be delivered from present evils and from everlasting death. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Fiat. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Please kneel. Let us pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment. While I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious words, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. They know, dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray, for, pray us. for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.